It's almost our favorite time of year. <laughs> That's right. The fair returns <laughs> March 16th, celebrating 71 years of fun. Wow. Oh, and this year's theme is a world of fun, which means destination-influenced rides with international foods and shows. Okay, okay, pero what are we going to eat this year? That's <laughs> uh, what everybody wants to know, That right? is the magic question. Okay, let's see. There's the Miami Cuban funnel cake sandwich, wow. the Mexican street corn pizza, yep. bacon pineapple burger, chili lime candy apple, and those are only some of them. There's over 130 food options. Bueno, hay que empezar la dieta ahora. You know, there's even new shows. Tu sabes, to sit down and relax a bit. Right. There is a dueling piano show that takes audience requests and a survey says <laughs> game show where your team competes for prizes. Okay. New food, new shows, the rides. That's a lot to do at the fair. Bueno, pero you know that the fair is a tradition. That's y, true. Pero no worries. Just download the Youth Fair mobile app to keep track of show schedules, deals, food, rides, y de todo. The only thing left is for us to figure out when we're going to go from March 16th through April 9th. You know, there's only one thing left to say at this point. Be, Be there, the, the fair. fair. This is DJ. And this is Ish. And this is season, season six, six of, of Better Let, Let Me Tell You. you. Have you ever stopped to think that, you know, that brand of like hair dye, Wella? Wella? Wella, yeah. No. Wella, Princess Cruises, and Panera have pretty much the same logo. Well, I don't know Wella, so I'm going to just have to go with the other two. You don't know Wella? I don't know. <laughs> you, the master of peluqueria rock? I, it's true. I know the, the, the bands, not the brands. Oh, the bands, not the brands. <laughs> yes. Well, on in that in that on that note, note live, live from, from the, the Dade, Dade County, County Youth Fair, Fair is episode two forty three <laughs> of Pero Let Me Tell You. Yes, this is a Wella brand. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, Wella. I just never stopped to think yeah, about it. Yeah, Wella, the the thing for for hair, Panera, and Princess Cruises. They, they all have, the, have same the same logo. Font. Yeah, the same like logo. The woman with her hair moving. Lots of waves. Lots of yeah, movement. yeah, yeah. Movement. Okay, happening. okay. Well, that you that really was a cold open. That was a yeah, that was super something that cold just open. popped yeah. in my head when I was thinking that because I was thinking Panera. Like <laughs> okay, because because clearly you're hungry because we're yeah, at the fair because uh, we're at the fair. So right. yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the Dade County Youth Fair. Yes, which we are. you know, if you've been following, but let me tell you, since season one, you know that <laughs> we we were there. We love the fair, and yes, the fair um, is always very good to us. They invite us mm -hmm. uh, this year um, to record to record. We they, they, they've been partnering with us for a few yeah. years. Last now. year we were in the parade. We were in the parade, yes, that we were throwing beads and all that. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. And we were able to bring the kids. Like it was yeah. it was great. And this year they invited us to do a recording live, live at, at the fair. At the fair. Live from Arnold Hall. Live. You know you know that every time I say live, what that I that should be the 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 title. Live from, live Arnold, from Arnold, Arnold Hall. Hall. Like, instead of, like, like instead Albert of Hall. Live at the Apollo, right. live at Arbo, uh, Albert, Albert Hall. Hall. Yeah. You know that every time I say live what I want to say, right? From the fabulous Alibaba Hotel. Of and course, Casino. Okay. live All from right. the fabulous <laughs> Alibaba Hotel and Casino. I'd be surprised if that, wasn't, if that wasn't the case. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're here at the fair recording live. And um, for those of you who are local or grew up coming to the Day County Youth Fair, there's just so many, as I say, so many stories and so many good memories. This is true. So we're like really happy that we get to um, the, our podcast has been you know partners with the fair for a couple of years now. So thank you, thank you, thank you yes, to thank the you. fair, the Day County Youth Fair for. Uh, being so present literally in the community yeah. and, and in um, our lives and our lives yes. like specifically yes. you and me on our yes. lives and actually yes. so we are partnered with them and they gave us some delightful little swag goodie bags, bags some goodie bags so we're gonna go ahead and open them are we gonna open them live we <laughs> are gonna open them live and we're gonna look through it and we're gonna right you know scramble around i mean okay this is like asmr oh it is you know somebody's all like oh, i want to listen to this forever yes <laughs> yes we're going right. to open up the goodie bag all right <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have, what swag do we have here? Well, we have the bag itself. The bag itself, it's a drawstring. That, that it says World of Fun, because that's the, the theme this year, World right. of Fun. Yep. We're like right next to Peru, and Australia oh, yes. is on the other side. Oh my gosh, Peru. Well, mm. aside from, I'm, I really want to go to Peru. I, I've always told you, it's like, in Latin America especially, it's like number one on my list. because I food is so the, good. The, the cuisine and yeah. like Lima, like I'm obsessed with Peru. Yeah, but, Machu Picchu. But Tristan, when mm. he, he used to watch this... Um, 
kids learning tube. Oh, yeah, I remember. And um, it's like learn geography. And each song had, each country had like a little song. And the one from Peru was the best because it was like, what you gonna do when you come to Peru? I love it. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you go to Peru? That's anyway, a very good question. So, okay, we're opening up the swag right, bag. Okay, a t shirt. We have a t shirt. Oh, this is really nice. Well, oh, this you, is a nice t shirt. You know, we'll be taking a picture with this shirt. Yes. This is actually a t shirt I would wear. This is. <laughs> That's you know what I think it has to do with the color, the color and no it's no like no no the, the imagery color. world of fun I like it I like it I like that the world of fun also, poster I has a little bit like of it. like vintage do you like it because it reminds you of the World's Fair yeah that's what I say it has like a vintage yeah. like look um, a little Art Decoish very nice very yep. nice okay let's we see, let's have see, keep opening. Ay, el vaso el, el vaso <laughs> that we get to refill Not all the spleen. over the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> listened to us, listening to us thought it was just clean. The, the refillable cup. Yes. They gave us a complimentary refillable cup that you can have. You can Which, just refill over and over You again. know we use this a lot when we We visit. do. Now we have two of them. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, We're going to oh, put it right here. Good. Nice that's and good. displayed. Okay, what record. else? A bucket hat. Okay. I haven't worn a bucket hat since I think 2002. Oh, bucket hats are in. I mean, no, bucket hats now. don't fit me. but They're, I mean, they're, they're in, in now again. Like, I, I do like a good bucket hat. I just haven't worn a, a bucket hat. A good bucket hat. Ooh, and a fair world of fun pin. Mm. Oh, this is a great goodie bag. Ooh, a little postcard. Uh, the fun guide. See, the fun guide is this is this year's version of the map. The map. Oh my god, the yes. map that I think last episode or episode before. Like Let's I would, see. I would lose my shit when I got that map at school. Like I, I told you, like the map was ginormous. It was like twenty four by thirty six. It was like poster size. It was poster size. And I would like pretend to be going Ooh, on the midway. I would pretend to be. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah. That's like a, a collectible. Like pin. A collectible pin. Yeah. Um, the other one's a button. Know the difference between a button and a pin. You know you're right. And yeah. I never stopped to think about that. Yeah. Why yes. would I know that? <laughs> I don't collect either. That seems like a weird thing for you to know, but I'm not surprised you know it. Right. You know, along yeah. with everything else. So, um, so yeah, I, I used to like lose my shit with that. So this year, the fair, um, well, you know, if you're not local, we're sorry. But if you are <laughs> local, this year they have, because they always have like a few like, food, you know, they have a ton of food here. Yes. But they always have every year like some new spotlight food items. Yep, and this yep, year yep. they have an elote pizza. They have an elote pizza. They have a cubic, I think it's here, actually on the cup. Um, or I could be wrong. They have like a Cuban sandwich elephant ear. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so think of all the ingredients. Is it, is it a Cuban sandwich with layered in between two elephant ears? Essentially. So that should be illegal. So Yeah, it's like the donut burger version of a Cuban Pero sandwich. Como una oreja de elefante. And then they drizzle it with either, I think it's either guava or mango sauce. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're having that Ooh. trust. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, you know it's so funny that like thinking back, <laughs> and again, if you grew up coming to the fair, you know, I remember when I used to come here with like when I was a kid with my parents and my grandmother. It was always like, "Ay, tenemos que ver el show de hielo, el patinaje de hielo." <laughs> this year they have somebody like in the circus. They have a guy shoots himself out of a cannon. Okay, well, yeah, it's a circus. I've never seen anybody shoot themselves out of a cannon. No, no, no. We're, we're not on Coral Way. We're, we're going back in time. <laughs> we're going back to the days, you know, of like the old school circuses. Um, is that proper circuses or circi? <laughs> I'm going to go with circuses. 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 Um, but yes. yeah, uh, my parents were always about like, I no vamos a perder no show de hielo. Or like when we got to it, show de hielo, right. and it had already started and you couldn't find seating. I'd be like, see, sí, baby, ni mo muy tarde, show de hielo. But it was all about it, show de hielo. Mind you, they have that show like every two hours. Yeah, I know. But you know, it's very dramatic when you're a kid, you that's know? That's true, that's true. <laughs> and like my mom, you know, my grandmother especially, like, ay, que lindo, a mi me encanta como patinan, que bonito. And it's like, yeah, show de hielo. Show and then you know, hielo. It's, you know what's also really nice about a show de hielo? It's like after <laughs> that you we can't refer to it as the ice show? Well, no, it's a show de hielo, <laughs> the ice show. It is that like when you, um, you know, it's so hot and then you go to the tent or to oh, the, it's so it's cool. So in cold. There. It's, it's like so oh, nice. So nice. In there. So nice. So yeah. 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 So thank you, Fair, as yes, always. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for hooking us up. They always hook us up. Yeah. They so, really do. Anyway, for those of you who are local, the Day County Youth Fair will be running this year through April 9th. Yep. So make sure to come one, yep. come all. Yeah. Bring La Familia Completa and um, ride. Come for Easter. Easter. Come for Easter. Come for Easter. Easter's April 9th. You go to church in the morning, then you come to the fair. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. So You know, what's not to love? 
<laughs> What's not to love? <laughs> anyway, bueno, moving right along. So, you know that earlier this week, I was watching... Um, the View? No. It, CBS I, Sunday no, Morning? No, it actually... I, I was switching channels, and I came... They were putting, I think, in Uni, Unimas. Okay. They were putting, obviously, repeats of La Fea Más Bella. Oh, yes. They're running that uh, during the week now. Yeah. And... I only know that because for some reason it's playing at the gym when so, I get there. First of all, I didn't know. So go with me here. All right. Um, you know Jaime Camil. Jaime is on Camil. That show. Yes, yes. I didn't know Jaime Camil was a singer. Well, he's done Broadway. He did Chicago. Yeah, I didn't know this. Yeah. I just thought he, he was a, Billy Flynn. I just thought he was a galang. You know, like that's just what he did. Galang. Yeah, he's a galang. A de professional novela. galang. A galang de novela. Anyway, so um, they're they're repeating La Fea Más Bella, which was a huge, yep. huge hit. And I feel One that of many like, Betty La, La, La Fea Más Bella and Ugly Betty on ABC with Vanessa Williams and America Ferrera uh -huh. was sort of running around the same time. Yes, because by that point, Betty La Fea, the, the original one, had already run. Right, right that, that right. one came out in like the late 90s, yeah. early 2000s. So, yeah. And I know there were other spinoffs and other interpretations yeah. of it worldwide. So you know what I was thinking? Do you think that they would do something like that today? In in English Mark, language, in, in, well, in English, yeah, well, because Ugly Betty was a huge hit on ABC. Yeah, it was. It was. I she, mean, that she ran won, for many. She won an Emmy, and she that ran for many years. So it's not like oh no, it was a show they tried and they got canceled. Yeah, no, it ran for like four. Or five I years. don't think they would. I think they would only because she was not the joke. Yeah, the, the joke was everyone else, and she was she was self assured. She was not. It was not an ugly duckling story in the traditional sense of like she got a she's all that makeover or anything like that. Right, she had substance, to right? Her. So right. I, I I think yes from that. Perspective. But I think that the problem is now not problem, but so not I the think show. That the difference <laughs> nowadays would be that the people no is that her look. Oh, she's just a hipster. Right. Like, I think that just the look itself, people would be like, okay. well, why are you laughing at that look? You know, why, 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 if she wants to dress like that, she can, you know, that's the part that I was kind of like, mm, I, I don't know. About that. I don't know if this concept, right? Because like visually, because the, the thing with those shows, even though, I mean, look, they're. I think that when you reach a certain age, something that was 10, 12 years ago is still recent or recent enough. Yeah. Right? Uh, these shows ran like from 2007, 2008 to like 2010, 11, 12. Yeah, they're, so, not, they're not like 1950. Right. They're, they're not that old. But but the world has changed very rapidly right. in the last 10 years. So this was right before that. And I think that nowadays having a, a central character where the show was – a reference to what you would say not traditional I don't even want beauty to use standards. the word beauty standards mm -hmm. or more of or more of the, the the previously traditional um is that even I think previously traditional beauty standards, but just something that that has a set a set of beauty standards that mm -hmm. are like nowadays a lot more um, open and a lot mm -hmm. more out there. I, I think that that would be a problem. I think that people would I be, see be upset by that. I see where you're coming from, but I think also clever, cleverly, cleverly, I don't know. Um, clever lie? Clever lie. <laughs> more than one clever. Because it was set in the world of a fashion magazine, that also allowed them to look down on her in a way that doesn't work in the quote unquote real world. Right. Because they're working within the confines, almost to your point, of the people who are setting those "quote unquote" beauty standards, right? So, if, but even but even that has changed because now, which is a good thing, right? Right. You but know, it, right. whether it's magazine covers or like Victoria's Secret, they have more inclusive body shapes right. and styles. And it's not only that they have more full figured women; they have women with like freckles. They have women right, with like right. like really curly hair. Like yeah. they it, they it, don't have women who with limited mobility. Or, they they it, don't yeah. have uh, you know Adriana Lima and, and, that's it. and Heidi Klum. Right? Yeah, right, right, um, and even Tyra Banks, because Tyra Banks, even for being a woman of color, her look was more like traditional insofar as like more European standards of beauty, like right, the she had light eyes, light eyes, like the straight right. sort of curled hair at yeah. the end. Not like, I what's this this model, the the the, the black model that she is she, she's from Nigeria. I know you know who I'm talking about. Yes, with the like the short hair that she's yes, like yes, stunning. Yes, I, I I forget her name, but she is somebody that. 
even though she's stunning and she's beautiful and she's been a model for a while, she probably would have not been cast like in Victoria's Secret, yeah. you know, in the 90s and even 2000s. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I think that like something like Betty La Fea, I mean, look, I think there's something to be said that people nowadays are a lot more sensitive and can't take a joke and right. know when there is a joke. But with that said, I think I that, like it, yeah. that even though something like Betty La Fea – Yes, she. It was very well written, or uh, Ugly Betty. It was very well written in so far that she was, as you said, self assured, and she was. You she know, was not the butt of the joke right, per se, right? Um, I still think that because she had a not traditional standard of an aesthetic. Okay, right? okay, that's that's an aesthetic. aesthetic. That's a, that's a perfect word. Um, People would still see it like, well, why are you laughing at her? You know, there's a lot of women that look like that. And, you know, and you're saying that she's ugly. Why is the show called Ugly Betty? Like, I, I think that nowadays that show would not fly. Even though, as you said, they were sort of poking fun. Right. Because Vanessa Williams was a villain. <laughs> like, right. And she was the, ridiculous. Right. The bad people were the quote unquote beautiful people. Right. And 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 again, but but I think it speaks to a broader thing, like you said, where nowadays people have. I don't want to fall into that trope of like nobody has a sense of humor, but it's like a lot of times people aren't willing to look beyond the 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 first impression or the title of something to actually see what is going on. Right. They just kind of knee jerk reaction, and it's all of a sudden, oh, why are you calling her ugly? Why does she have to be ugly? Why can't we have a beautiful Betty? Why can't it? Be, why does it got to be Betty? Why can't it be you know beautiful eh, Elisa because she's actually Latina? Well, she's actually Latinx. Like I could see this argument like right. just snowballing just, into and then this turning into something else that is right. And then that's where do you, we start? Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> what are we arguing about again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where yeah. do we go? Where do we go from here? But. Um, <sighs> But no, you're you know right. what? But you, you know, it's funny though that even somebody like, uh, and I've said this many times before. I think America Ferrera, uh, she's really cute. The, the the woman, not the character. <laughs> I've always said it. I think she's, I think she's gorgeous. I think she's very pretty. Because you know, you know what, you know what the, what what I always say. I always say my standard is the office standard. Okay, would you find her cute if you worked if with you her? If you worked with her, if you worked with her, would you find her cute? Right? We're not talking about like a model. Right? Because there's that standard of like these bombshells, like, you know, whether actresses right. or singers. You know, Beyonce is not ordinary. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, not going to be in HR. Yeah. Be <laughs> Beyonce and her whole Beyonce ness. Yeah, no. Right? Because I'm sure that if Beyonce, you know, well, actually, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that back because I saw in 2008, I saw Beyonce. In you know the whole story of when we were oh, voting right. early, and live and in person, and she came and said hi to us, and I shook her hand, and I had a moment with her, and she was wearing a black t-shirt and jeans, and her hair was in a ponytail, and she was like, I, she was dropped that gorgeous, right, 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 but, but she was still, but okay, but from a makeup perspective, I'm sure she still had somebody applying, the, right? The but what I'm saying is that she she wasn't whatnot. Beyonce, you know, like with the gown and the hair and the earrings, okay. and the you know, but anyway, I always think of like. The office test. If this person worked with you, right? Would you think they were attractive? Because I think there's something to be said about celebrities that you know you you're somewhat attracted to the air of a celebrity, like you, attainable attractiveness, right? Even but 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 just a celebrity, and then you know obviously celebrities have resources that we don't have, you know, yeah, from glam squad, a glam and, squad, yeah. right? And photographers, and you know, video that, oh, and and people who make clothes just for them, right? And, that yeah. any anybody anybody and everybody will look freaking amazing right right so, you so but i always say like imagine if that person was just like you know in accounting in accounting in a cubicle like would you find them attractive and like that's america, a good test and you know you know why i give them in the america ferrera because america ferrera obviously when she goes to like a premiere or something she's glammed up or something but what i like from her is that she's like usually she's like an everyday girl yeah she she plays the everyday. and i always think like if she worked with me i think she was like adorable like i would freaking love her like, i agree <laughs> I agree. Well, that's why she's like, like right store. now. I think about. I, I was thinking the same thing about this guy Pedro Pascal. You know, he's having a moment. Now. Okay, I will tell you straight up, Pedro Pascal, and it's per I love how you described it because I've been noticing Pedro Pascal more now that he's right. you know the in thing. Right. I mean, he's always been there, but now he's now he's noticeable. It's yeah. fine. I don't think he's like hot, but there's something attractive, and I think it's right. that. I think it's that like 
He's off, a celebrity. He's office attractive. Right. Right. Like if Pedro Bacan worked with you and he was wearing, you know, a black polo and khakis right. like, with his little tag of the department. Right. You know, like, like, oh, he's cute. You know, Pe- yeah, <laughs> Pedro, Pedro from Bacan. payroll. Pedro from payroll. <laughs> Pedro from payroll would totally be cute. And he's he looks like he's enjoying his moment. Right. You right. Know? But but even somebody like Pedro Bacan, like, you know, whether you like how he dresses or not, you know, he he's, you know, he dresses like a little bit on the edge and all that. And that adds to the certain attractiveness of someone. Even yeah, if but not. Not crazy edge, right? But he wears things that, like, you know, he he has he has the resources and the team of people right. of stylists and all that that like elevate his look, right? Right, right. But I'm talking about again, if you know Pedro Pascal had a black polo shirt and khakis, and you know wore I don't know, he would still penny loafers. He'd still be cute, yeah. You'll yeah, be like, I Pedro in accounting, you know. Right, right, right. Like, I'd go out with Pedro in accounting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good looking, good looking, good looking, good looking. Yeah, good looking. Pedro in America. Pedro, and you know what happened? Pedro, Pedro in America will probably. Be the ones dating. <laughs> I want that show now. Pedro y America. <laughs> and then we'll be like, how you meet up? Pedro in America having an inter-office romance. Oh, we just no. created a whole narrative here. But it's okay because because America works for HR, so she cleared it. <laughs> right. <laughs> she cleared it. <laughs> She's in HR. He's in IT. It works out perfectly. Uh, Amer- America Ferreira, who was in the, what is it? I call it the movie, The Traveling Yaya Sisterhood of the Pants. Yes. Or for those of you who've seen the movie, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Yes. <laughs> but somehow I put like three movies in one. Yes. But you uh, knew what I was talking uh, well, about. Well, I always do, which is the most bizarre thing about our relationship. Right, as I said. But you know what, though? The time I said, oh, you know, that show Hawthorne. You knew I was talking about what is the name of this show? Riverdale. Riverdale. And I have no clue how I pulled that out of my ass. Right, to this because day. like Hawthorne. What the hell is Hawthorne? Now, I don't even know why I thought Hawthorne. Not like I make on Riverdale. Right, but somehow you knew I it was knew Riverdale. I knew. That's so. what I do. That's what I do. Okay, so you must be in a, just a very quick blip of a thing to bring up. You must be in a happy place right now. Que pasó? Well, because uh, you know, wasn't the weekend was voted? What is it? The most popular. Oh, the, the most popular artist in the, the world. Gu- Guinness World Record names the weekend the world's most popular artist. So you must be in a, in a happy you know place right I now. You know that I saw it. I Actually, saw- how do you feel about that? Because I know you like to like things that other people don't like. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, I mean, if you've listened to 253 episodes <laughs> of Pedro, let me tell you, you know that uh, Abel's my boy. Yes, <laughs> I, yes he I, is. I, I love the weekend. And you've passed Both it down. Both the singer and the, the, and the time of the, year. The time of the, time of the, the week. week. Um, Tristan loves, my kid loves The weekend. <laughs> There's a part of me that misses The weekend's explicit songs when he would talk about sex and drugs. Right. Like, <laughs> I, I, that. That's what you had to give up for mainstream that's success. That's what I in a freaking weird, yeah. loved. And, um. Now, you know, he's more mainstream, yeah. but his, mu- his music is still conceptual enough. <laughs> like because he does put together out al- proper albums. He does, he does, yeah. and his concepts, his uh, albums are very concept driven. Like yes. his latest yes. album, Don FM, uh, that came out last year. It's like mm-hmm. a whole concept. I mean, he dressed it, up as like yeah. an old man, and like what I liked was that there was like a storyline in all the videos and all yeah. that stuff. So he's very conceptual, but you know, I sort of liked like. <laughs> The really like ratchet ass like weekend. You know the whole thing with him when he started, right? That nobody knew like what he looked like. Nobody or who knew was. what he looked like. Uh, he he started releasing mix t- mixtapes, and nobody knew what he looked like. He didn't make music videos. If you notice, he doesn't do interviews or red carpets. He doesn't. Nope. When was the last time you saw the well, the weekend? Did a handful of red carpets when he was dating Selena Gomez. Um, and I think he did a handful of them with uh, Bella Hadid, but he doesn't really give interviews, but he actually does promote his records. Like he does, you know, he does music videos. He goes and performs and different okay, shows. Okay, so he shows up. Um, he shows up in award shows. He's not shows. Beyonce. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, he, you know, he performs in award shows and things like that. He just doesn't really give interviews. I mean, he's given a handful of interviews, but he doesn't do a lot. Like he, he has done some interviews for magazines, but he doesn't do like talk shows. Got it. Okay. So right? And saturate. Like when he did when he did the Super Bowl, he did do the press conference. That's probably he contractual. Did, he did do um James Corden and they had a whole skit, but he doesn't do a lot of interviews. But but yeah. Um yeah, it makes me very happy. It makes me very happy. I I you know, I love the weekend. So <laughs> You know, uh, well, yeah. listen. If you're looking for ratchet and you know talking about vulgar things, I'm sure you can always just start listening to La Diosa. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
we, we, don't mean, want, we don't want an explicit rating on our show. No, we do not. Especially when we're live from the we fair. Do, exactly. You at know, the fair, we don't want no. family friendly fun. This is true. We don't want explicitness from the fair. Yeah. So, uh, you know that I was actually reading, and this is something that I think every listener and everybody could relate to. Okay. So, the FTC right now is um, going through some regulations or in, <clears throat> in, is introducing a bill. To make it easier, and the FTC is a Federal Trade Commission, right. so they they you know they, they over, oversee anything and regulate anything having to do with communications and subscriptions and mm-hmm. things like that. And it's about subscription services and subscription services, anything having to do with like whether it's for television or for a gym or for uh, a service, whatever it is. But they are right now pass proposing a bill where in a subscription service, Mm -hmm. the form of cancellation has to be the same form in which you signed up for it. And I'll give you an example. There is a, um, like, for example, there is this program that I use to edit videos Mm -hmm. that I downloaded it, right? And, um, you know, I downloaded it and I used it some time ago when I was trying to edit a video. Right. And... When I downloaded it in the user agreement and all the stuff that you scroll through, right? Yeah, the thing that you don't really read. It said that it, um, it, it renewed every year for one hundred and twenty dollars or one hundred nineteen dollars, okay. and of course you don't see that. So then a year later, the I one hit. day open up my you know my bank account. I'm like, what is this? And then I put two and two together. And the thing was that I to cancel it, you had to call to cancel it, but not. To subscribe, not not unsubscribe. There wasn't a right, place right, right, where you right. could go. When you when you signed up, you could do it online. But to unsubscribe, you, you have, have to call. call. Okay, right. right. So the method of cancellation has to be the same method in which you. That's what this bill's proposing. Yes. So I tried calling and calling and I couldn't. So, but I caught this like right away. I caught it in my bank account when it was pending, not yet going oh, through. Okay. Oh, good. So I immediately called my bank and I'm like, "Hey, I didn't authorize that," and my bank took care of it. Right. Okay. So I was able to stop it. Like right. they put a stop payment on it. Um, but that happens a lot. Look, I and and I'll I, I'll give them a little bit of a. Well, uh, there was a major organization. You know, I'm not gonna. Okay, okay. Don't drag anybody. Right. There was a major organization that I had a couple of, of kids come to my house, and it, you know, obviously, it's something that I agree with that came to my house, and and they're like, oh, do you mind, um, you know, donating, you know, okay, making a, a donation, making a donation for this, and. And, you know, if you could, subs- you know, subscribe for like a monthly donation. And I was like, sure. And I know the kids were organizers. And, okay. you know, that's something that I've done. So I, I know that, the, you know, getting certain subscriptions helps them and all that. So I was like, sure, fine, whatever. And I did it. But then after a couple of months, I'm like, okay, I'm going to cancel this monthly <laughs> member, monthly, yeah. you know, donation. Yeah, you give it And enough. there was no way for me to do it. What do you mean? There, how do I do it? Oh, because you couldn't go back to them. Like, who, 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 who was I going to track down the kids? And I went to like the website <laughs> and it was like. The website had no um, nothing on how to do that. It right? didn't even have like a contact so us number or nothing, anything? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I had to call my bank account and I had to call my bank account and like again to a stop payment. How, who did they contact then? The bank account? Yeah. <laughs> no, the bank account just puts a stop payment and they don't allow that charge to go through anymore. Oh, ever again? Ever again. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was like a one-by-one, case-by-case No, case no, 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 no. Oh. No. Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. But that happens a lot, you know, when you subscribe for things, right. and then you, how do you cancel them? And that's like really, that's very predatory. Well, it's interesting. I mean, the gym kind of does that, where you can sign up online, but then to cancel, you have to do it in person. Right. Which, look, the gym is something you physically have to go to, but still, to your point. Right. If I'm canceling, chances are it's because I'm not going to the gym. So therefore, right. you're not right. Like, and then you keep to... putting it off. You keep putting right. it off, and then right. you know, one month turns into two months, and three months, and four months, and five months, and you're like, I think this bill should have started with Columbia House. With <laughs> no, it couldn't have started with Columbia House because if you're of a certain age, you owe Columbia House money. We all owe Columbia House money. I don't even want to think about the interest on that. <laughs> Twenty CDs for a penny. Yeah. How, how much would it be now? A lot of money. Well, it wouldn't be anything because we don't have CDs. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the interest rate. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. <laughs> hey, oh, my God. So today I got a call from my dad. Okay. Okay. And All right. super preocupado. Well, actually, no. 
I was taking care. I was in a conference call work-wise, and I see my dad call, mm-hmm. and I dodged the call. Okay. I see him call again. I dodged the call. In I see all him fairness, call you again. were busy. You I was dodging. Busy. You were dodging. I, 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 you know, declined the call. So then he called out four times. So within like 10 minutes, he called four times. I'm like, okay, this is no, it, this it, is big. serious. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I, I ended the call, and I called him. Ay, que estoy super preocupado. Estoy super preocupado. I'm like, what happened? Pero right, que pasó? Right. Ay, te voy a mandar un texto que me mandaron. And then <laughs> oh, for God. some reason, like, it was one of these situations where that, like, the office, like, the reception wasn't the, good. The, the Wi Fi was, like, failing, but the, the reception wasn't great either. So, like, it wasn't going through. Like, but finally it got through, right? He's like, ay, porque me van a cobrar. This is a text that he got, people. Are you listening? <laughs> okay. okay. Your order with the ID ZS576606 is now being shipped, and a charge of $420 has been applied to your card. If you have any questions, then there's a link, right, 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 right. to the text. Like here, yeah. And he's like, ay, que preocupación. I'm like, Roberto. <laughs> I was like, when you switch to his first name, that's when it's about like, to get real. Okay, we have to learn to ignore those things. When that comes in the mail, well, not in the mail, when they call you right. or whatever. They text you, they yeah, email they you. They text you, they email you. They, you have to ignore that. My my parents get, they see them, they see, because my we're all on T-Mobile. They see them like the scam likely. And my dad will get it. No porque si es algo. And I'm like, then it's not going to come through scam likely. It's Your father t- picks up scam yes, likely pero calls. Porque, porque le I don't ca- even pick up calls without it. Cam me está llamando tanto. And I'm like. Don't take it personal, Robert. <laughs> like, and then my mom be Does he think scam is a person? Like he, a muppet? He thinks that they're personally being like targeted. Targeted, like profiled. Yeah. So and I tell them all the time, I'm like, Baba, like Join the club. everybody does this. You know what's my personal favorite? Like voicemails that I get? No. Hi. We're call we're contacting Mr. Borges. Oh, those we are yes, calling yes. you from a you know, actually, no, they don't say the company. Right. It's, it's always so, blank, so it's yeah. like, it's always like a woman. Hi, we're calling then computer voice, Mr. Borges, Mr. Darian Borges. You need to contact us with a personal business matter right away. Let it, let you are on notice that you are being served and we've tried to contact you at your place of business. And if you do not, you know, and I'm like, Really? You've tried to contact me at my place of business? My place of business? My, my, my business is my place. I'm like, I'm the owner of my place of business. Like, um, I'm like, really? I would love to see how that goes. Maybe they think um, you're la doctora Bustamante. <laughs> and that's why they can't and then, find you. And then I'll start. When you, when you call, please reference. And then there's a pause. One, four, <laughs> six. Da, da. You have been notified. And you it's do it like, very well. You should do that. And it's like, really? Do you think that I've inti- intimidated with your pseudo? You're serving me with legal papers? Like, yeah, good bullshit? luck. <laughs> you good luck. Like, you, Let me know how that works you, out for you. You have reached the wrong person. Pero que pasa? That they get somebody who's older. That's the point. Right? And they get really worried. And then they start calling their son over and over and over and over again. About <laughs> right. $420. Right. That they don't know. Right. Pero, pero I mean, you know, FTC, if, uh, subscriptions are a problem, but that's a problem, too. Like, those those messages that are people, and, and I feel that there's more spam now than ever. My favorite now, I got one, it had been a while, you get them on occasion, too, is the ones where it's like, hi, is this Dr. Michael? Oh, uh, and, oh. Then, and then you reply back and you're like, no, it's not wrong number. They're like, oh, my God, I'm oh, so sorry. So, so yesterday. Blah, 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 blah. So it just becomes like this whole like narrative now that they strike. They okay. Start so yesterday. A, a, so the t- conversation the text, with you, the text that they, they send you by mistake. Yes. Okay. So yesterday, damn it. I don't have it in this phone. I have it in my 2011 phone. My sister had one the other day. That was great. It was going back and forth where she, where the lady was like, oh, I just landed in in, in JFK and I can't find my assistant's number. Can right. you help me? And my sister was like, of course. Yes. What is your assistant's Oh, yeah. I just I, sent her a text. I did the same like, thing yeah, the other day. My sister was bored that the day. The other day, I did the same thing <laughs> because they'll always turn around on you and be like, oh, you know, when they... When you know when you say it's it not, in, in, right. right, they'll be like, "Oh, but you sound like a nice person. Maybe we could be friends." I turned it around on them. Uh, this person was Abigail, and I was like, it, "You know, she contacts me, and she's the initial boy message was like, oh, did I leave my dog collar there?'" And I'm like, "Is this Abigail?" She's like, "Yes, it is." And I'm like, "Gotcha, Abigail." Oh, so and you I'm were like, doing it? Yeah, I, I, yes, because I pu- I because you were bored. Yes, <laughs> and then I I we went back and forth, and I said something along the lines of lines that. I'm going through a really hard time right now, Abigail. You seem like a really nice person, <laughs> right? 
maybe we could be friends. And then they that's it. Abigail like stopped because she realized Abigail ghosted. That I gave her. Uh, You're giving her her own medicine. Uh, yes, my favorite one. My favorite one. I showed all you guys when this happened. Screenshots was the one who started you know texting me. And the, and you know whatever. Oh, what's your name? Uh, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from Constantinople. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and they were like, really? Are you are you originally from that? I'm like, well, I live here now, but my family is originally from Mesopotamia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> As one does. <laughs> uh, there's this other one that um, there was this. There's other one where the girl started following me. And it was one of these Bitcoin accounts. As right? they all are. She started following me. And um, she was supposed to, supposedly she was based in Miami. Okay. And all her pictures, she had like probably like 30 or 40 mm-hmm. pictures. All of them were like, oh, I'm having a great time in Miami. Oh, you know, look at this beautiful restaurant in Miami. And I, again, I, I, I was bored. Clearly. I went through every picture. I'm like, nope, we don't have the, that restaurant in Miami. Nope, that landscape is not in Miami. Nope, Miami doesn't have hills. You were leaving these as comments. Yes, I was. Miami doesn't have hills. Nope, that skyline is not from Miami. Nope, that cafe. Like, you, she would be at a cafe and I would see the name in the back. And I'm like, that whatever, Cafe de Andre. That does not exist in Miami. Nope. Like, I went through every single one of her pictures. I think she blocked me because then I couldn't find them. Aww. But I was, I was like, you're not going to use Miami's name. You know? She took offense. <laughs> she took offense. It's the problem is that she had invested so much in Miami coin. Vista, that Miami coin is officially dead. I mean, it's been dying. I, it, it's a slow death. Oh, yeah. That thing has been dying, you know. For, like, since it started. Yes. Like No, but now it's, like, officially no, it's, it's gone. Gone. It's gone. It's yeah. worth. I think. I think to talk about it is worth more than actually having it. <laughs> I think we're giving it value <laughs> just by just mentioning by it about it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, good I, thing we didn't invest in that. Yes. Okay. I want to bring something up that's like a little just to, to por arribita, and, and we can touch por on arribita. it and, mo- and move on. So now you said Miami, Miami coin. You know that's a whole craziness with Mayor Postalita. You know, according to the B- Billy Corbin, I would just like to put a little. Uh, you know, a little. PSA out there to everyone I know who lives outside of the state of Florida. I know why you do it. I understand. I, I get it intellectually. I understand. But can you please stop sending me texts and DMs asking me to speak on behalf of the entire state of Florida when something insane gets passed as a bill? Oh, does well, that happen to you all the time? Oh, like like your friends will reach out and be like, so. But I need to know: is this how everyone thinks? And why isn't everybody doing oh, this? And I'm like, on, I'm on, like, I can give you my opinion. Maybe I can speak for you on Instagram. But, but I have that's about like it. Instagram friends are like, oh my god, are you moving? I'm like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's like I can't speak. I can look, barely speak for look, everybody in our he, friend he, group. Here, here's here's what's what's happening. <laughs> There are, I mean, this is very true. There are a lot of laws that are being proposed and bills that are being proposed now in Florida that are just absolutely awful. Right. Like, awful. But, but, because right now, thanks to our governor, he has, like, a spotlight on him. He has momentum. Right? Anything and everything that is proposed in Florida. Anything he does. Makes the news. Because, you know, he's tagline that Florida is where... Woke goes to die. Right, right? We're, we're very caffeinated. So, here. um, so you know, this is like a tagline. He's very good at marketing. Right. You know, at the PR. You know, he he doesn't play a game. Ron DeSantis is very like hot right now. Um, and so all eyes are on Florida and him. And yes, there are a lot of crazy, crazy laws that are being proposed here that we have to fight like hell for against. However. There's crazy laws being passed everywhere, right? Or being proposed, right, 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 right. right? Everywhere, all the time. So, and and not that the ones here, the ones here, warrant a lot of attention because he, this man is becoming very powerful. But you know, there's crazy laws everywhere right. that are that are being proposed. That We're not are the only one at forty nine. We're not the only one. So, right. yeah, it, it's. But like, you get that a lot too. Like, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like. I'm just exhausted trying to speak for an entire populace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, get, I said, I I can barely I, speak. I, I, I for get us. a lot of it on Instagram from Instagram friends. Like, are you moving? Like, are 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 you like leaving? I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I no. Yeah, you know. 
I already own property. Like, That's true. Like you own property, you have businesses. Uh, yes, it, I have it, business. I know. Getting a lot in other licenses in other areas, no. I am. Uh, I am. What if we don't live in the same place? I don't know if I can commute for ping pong boyo. I know. No, but those are other things. I'm like, oh, we can only do the. But let me tell you, because this we can do over. Yeah, only for a certain amount of time. Because but I'm it, saying, right? No, no. Com- because compared to a pop up, this right, we could right, do virtually. But, but if we did it on Zoom, we couldn't be live at the Day County. This is also there. true. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I'm just saying. Like in general, you know, the, the, this is the only one that could keep going, right? Theoretically, right? Uh, doing, doing being Pampoyo on uh, through uh, interstate lines would be kind of interesting. We could be like that scene in a Walk to Remember <laughs> that we put up our pop up tent between the border. Yes, and we could be in four states at once. Oh, we could go to the what is it? Utah. I th- yeah, I think it's I think it's U- Nevada. U- Utah, I don't know which one it is, but Arizona, New Mexico. I think so. That sounds right. I just sort of geographically pulled that out of. <laughs> that sounds like four states that are near enough each other, and like no, and that also remind that, that visually. That's also work. a scene in Breaking Bad. Oh, I didn't, I never saw that Breaking they Bad. Got, you didn't see Breaking Bad. I didn't see Breaking Bad, and that's one of the shows that I want to see now. But it's been so long, and there's you know so many seasons that I'm Breaking like, Bad. Just, it, Breaking Bad is sort of like well, Game of Thrones is the biggest disappointment of my life. I mean, it really is. Like now, you know how the people have lost felt. Um, but um, Breaking Bad was an amazing show. It's probably one of the best shows I've ever had, ever seen, with one of the best, best, best endings. But it, it's such a heavy show. There's no levity. That it's like, oh, I don't know if I'll do a rewatch. Okay, I get it. I get I it. I mean, there's a whole episode where they're, it's just them two in a in a lab chasing a fly. I can relate And to it that. wasn't an 80 sitcom thing that it's like, oh, remember the time that we tried to make a cake and it went crazy? No, 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 no. And then it goes It into was like, literally an hour. It was literally, yeah, an hour with no. With no. No. Just them and a fly. Yeah. It was it was crazy. It it's great. a great show. It's a great show. It would have been great if they would have said "and the fly" as Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, so. Hey everyone, this is DJ, and if you listen to the show, you know how much we love Jupiña. The pineapple soda is refreshing and sweet, and Jupiña goes great with everything from a medianoche to a hot dog to even a rum or vodka. Whether diet or regular, Jupiña has been part of our heritage for over 120 years. From watching our abuelos drink Jupiña at every get-together to introducing the next generation to its distinctive taste, Jupiña is practically part of the familia, como un juprimo, maybe. I see next time that you need a cool, refreshing beverage, grab that distinctive orange can of Jupiña. After all, only Jupiña tiene puro sabor a piña. I know that we're here at the fair, we're live at the fair, but the reality of it is that we are hungry. Yes. And we are thirsty. And although the fair is sponsored by Pepsi, that does not prevent us from giving out our last Jupiñas. Our last Jupiña. <laughs> that does not prevent it from being Jupiña. Gawi, I think next year you should be the sponsor here at the fair. Yeah, well, I mean, Pepsi's not Gawi's competition, so... That's true. They could co-sponsor or, or something. Pepsi doesn't have a delicious pineapple drink. No, or a mate drink. No. At all. I don't even think Pepsi knows what mate is. No. They know what pineapple is, but they don't know what mate is. No. <laughs> no, no, at all. So... Are we ready to give our last hoopinha? I I mean, I'm giving my last hoopinha to the fair. Well, okay, thank you for reading my mind. It's like a Hawthorne yes. situation again. So, yeah, no, I mean, look, how many years have we been coming to the fair now, you and I? Actually, this year's our 30th year that we've been coming with all of our friends. This is our 30th yeah, anniversary Yeah, we started in 1993. Oh, wow. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. All right, so I think that definitely gives bona fides as to how we feel about the fair. Mm-hmm. We do this every year, except for when you were away or I was away. Mm-hmm. But even still, when the I group was, would come. When yes, the group would come without yeah. us, and yeah. I would be like, "Oh my god, like I'm missing the fair," you know. <laughs> and it's funny because like I couldn't fly down because the fair is usually around like Easter, and that yeah, in law school, that's that, like midterms time. No, no, that's like towards edging towards finals. That's oh, like finals, the last finals. month. So it's like, oh, I can't take. You, like, can't, you can't. I can't leave for like yeah. three weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry, three days. Yeah. Um, that was the only time since I was two years old that I missed a fair, and I literally was in another state. Like, so that's what it takes. I wasn't for you to even. Miss in, the fair. I wasn't even in Georgia. For you. <laughs> it's like ten states up. You couldn't drive down. 
No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I could. I mean, logistically, it was right. going to work. Yeah. But, um, but you know what, though? Seriously speaking, I think that one of the greatest things, for me at least, is that I grew up coming to, to the Dade County Youth Fair. I mean, since I'm like two years old, there's pictures of me two or three years old at the fair. Mm -hmm. um, my parents loved bringing me to the fair. My grandmother, you know, I, I always have the ice cream at the end of the hill in honor, I'm like, so because of my grandmother. Um, because ese el helado que ella encantaba. My grandmother loved the fair, and she came to the fair until maybe a couple of years before mm -hmm. she passed. Um, but one of the greatest things is that my, my son loves the fair. And he, he loves it and he looks forward to it. And I mean, I know it sounds a little bit cheesy, but the fact that I grew up coming here and, you know, I had the exhibits here, you know, when I was a kid, I used to do the student exhibits and I loved it so much. And that Which we're right next to now. Yes. And that he was able, he's been following in those footsteps of coming to the fair and he really, really enjoys it. Like, I, I love it. Like, I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah. I was like, I love it because he's old enough now that he'll have memories of the fair, you know? Yeah, that's true because, yeah, he's not too right yeah, so yeah. um you know that it's like we bring you know we bring him every year and we come with like friends and stuff like that and yeah. he he loves it so you know really that i it's now multi-generational i mean i i know it sounds like oh wow but but it really is and and i have to tell you that when i was um especially in middle school and in high school the fair and un trabajito para mi because i was like that kid that had yes. like 10 student exhibits you never paid for entrance and no i had like 10 <clears throat> student exhibits and if you got first place i think you got like 25 or 30 dollars oh wow and i had like 10 exhibits so that oh <laughs> shit you would make bank yeah when you're in seventh grade 300 dollars in one year is like oh, good yeah. money that I, and back then 300 dollars was 300 dollars yeah, yeah i could go and buy columbia house <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, thank you to the the fair, the Dade County, the Miami Dade Day County Youth Fair and Exposition yes. for all the thanks for the memories. Come Lisa Fallout Boy. Yes, thank TKS you. TKS for MMRS. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they get our our last. They get our last Albania. Yeah. So everybody, um, again, if you are in Miami, if you're local, make sure you come down to the fair yeah. uh, by April 9th. April 9th is the last day. Yes, and, Easter uh, Sunday. Yeah, and we hope, as always, that you listen, laugh, mm -hmm. and learn. And remember to grab your croqueta, your pastelito, and your jupina. Yes. And join us next week. Yes. Well, we're about to go grab a lot more food. Yes, we are. All right. Have we a great weekend, everybody. Bye. Pero Let Me Tell You is co-hosted by Darian Borges and Ismaeliano. Produced by Ismaeliano. And our theme, Pero Let Me Tell You Freestyle, is composed by Michael Angelo Lomlaplex the official gay guy. And don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes. <laughs>